Today I want to talk to you guys about prices, specifically the prices of new Subarus, where they are at right now in July of 2023, and where I expect them to head over the next six months in the car market. So we're going to be looking at each model and helping you identify which ones are going to have a better opportunity for a discount and also which ones you probably likely will not see a discount on anytime soon. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos just like this, all on Subaru related content. So if you like those types of videos, consider clicking the subscribe button down below. And if you guys learn something new and get value out of this video, please remember to click the like button. That really helps me out and I would greatly appreciate it. To better understand where prices are headed, we first need to understand what impacts price and, and how prices have gotten to where they are today. And it comes down to one simple principle. You learn it in an economics class in high school or college, but supply and demand both directly impact the price of any item in the world. We've seen it happen with the car market, we've seen it happen with the housing market, even going to the grocery store buying eggs. They are a little bit more expensive now than they used to be, all because of supply and demand. I wanna show you guys first what the prices on some of these cars look like and where, they, where you can expect to get it for, and then also share with you how we got to this price to begin with. So looking at this 2024 Super Impreza, Look at the window sticker. You can do this at any lot, by the way. It's gonna show you exactly what options are on the car and the total manufacturer suggested retail price. So this one is 31,752 with all of the equipment that's on it. This has an optional package that includes the power moonroof, the upgraded audio system, and the power driver's seat with lumbar support. And then you have about four or five accessories over here that add up to your final purchase price. This also includes the destination and delivery that the auto manufacturer charges for the vehicle. So right now in our current environment with the buyer demand, you would expect to pay that price. I wouldn't expect to see a discount on a 2024 Impreza because they are incredibly popular and they are one of the uh, lower priced. Now this is the highest trim level on the Impreza, but they're one of the lower priced Subaru options. Now if we go over here to this 2023 Forester Sport, you can see it is sold. Look at the window sticker on it as well. And it does not have an optional package, just the standard equipment on the Forester Sport with another group of accessories totaling $921. Total MSRP is $33,411. So again, you could expect to pay the full MSRP on this car. And in some instances, some dealers are still charging above the manufacturer's suggested retail price because of lack of demand. So how did we get here? Why are cars selling for such a high price? Well, back in the early part of the pandemic, early 2020, the Federal Reserve lowered the interest rate to increase demand for spending in the economy to help lift the economy back up and hopefully avoid a recession. Well, that spurred up demand quite a bit, probably more than anybody could have ever imagined. And because factories were closed down, partially for uh, the, the pandemic, the, uh, the vehicles weren't able to be produced as quickly as they had hoped. And then you had parts and, and chip shortages, all these things that uh, just created a perfect storm that caused production levels to drop. And as I just mentioned before, uh, when demand goes up, if production is down, they can't produce enough, the price is going to go up as well. And now what we're seeing is interest rates have climbed back up. They started climbing back, I wanna say this time last year, end of, end of last summer, early fall. Now we are seeing interest rates in the eight to 10% range. It's, it's incredible how, how much uh, rates have increased over the last six to 12 months. And so now you are starting to see buyer demand drop a little bit. That's putting pressure on price because as production gets to the lots, if it is sitting, you're gonna see auto manufacturers and dealerships start discounting vehicles because you can't sell them. Well, we have not had that happen yet. So as somebody who works 
at a Subaru retailer. We have not had buyer demand drop significantly enough for us to have inventory sit on the lot. And if you are looking for a discount on a car, on any manufacturer, whether it's Subaru or otherwise, you wanna look for, if you're looking for only getting a discount on something, unfortunately that means getting something that is less desirable. So where uh, there is less demand. Not only less demand for the brand, but also the model. So first we'll talk about brand. Subaru as a whole is known for being uh, one of the best values right now for uh, of, of all the cars in the market. But if you're looking at this and you're comparing it to one that is less desirable, it, you're going to get a, you're gonna have an opportunity on the less desirable one to negotiate and get a discount on. And then also looking at models, let's talk about which models are the most popular and which ones are not as popular so you can help identify which ones you might have an opportunity to negotiate a discount on. Our number one selling Subaru for 2022 and continues to be for 2023 is the Subaru Crosstrek. So unfortunately, if you are looking for one of these crossover SUVs, I would not expect a discount on this particular model anytime soon. Now, you may look at something like a BRZ and say, well, there's not a lot of demand for those. They don't really appeal to the typical Subaru customer. It's, it's our only car, one of our only cars that is not an SUV. It's also our only rear wheel drive car. So it, it doesn't appeal to a lot of people. The back seat, it does have a back seat, by the way. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, there is not uh, enough room really for somebody to fit back there. And so again, it, it doesn't appeal to a large crowd of customers. So lack of demand would tell you, well, the price should come down on this. Well, that's not so true because supply is another part of the equation. They only produce about 2,500 to 3,000 of these each year. And because of that, the few people who are interested in this still keep the price up on these. So you're seeing many dealerships still selling these at full window sticker price, full MSRP, and even many selling above MSRP. I've even had customers buy from us because we've never gone above MSRP. I've had them buy this car, turn around and sell it to CarMax for two grand more the next week. And while that, that could be uh, maybe a um, unethical thing to do, People still have, have taken advantage of this market, whether they're selling it to another dealer or private party because they know that the, uh, the demand is there and they can, they can, they can get a higher price. Uh, if you look at the WRX, very similar to the BRZ, they, are, they don't appeal to as large of a crowd and uh, they do produce a lot more of these. So you can see some uh, discounts on these. I'll just tell you, frankly, I, I just sold one of these. This is a 2023 WRX. I just sold one of these a few days ago for uh, a $500 discount. So $500 off MSRP. Now, granted, not as large of a discount that we saw uh, three and four years ago, but it's not at MSRP anymore. So if you're looking for a discount on a car, maybe look at a WRX because they're just, they're not as in high of demand. If you're looking at a Subaru Forester, similar to the Crosstrek, they are very popular. This is, I believe, our second most popular model, neck and neck with the Outback. These come from Japan. They take a little bit longer to get here. I just checked orders on these for our Subaru Foresters, and it takes uh, about four months to get here. I, I just placed an order for somebody on one of these, and it's, it's projected to arrive. So this is beginning of July. It's projected to arrive sometime in October. So sometime between the, the beginning to end of October is when we would expect to get a, a Forester. Now, those are solely produced in Japanese or in Japan, but we do have the Subaru Outback, which is another commonly compared to model to the Forester, very popular. I have the Outback myself. It is one of the, my most favorite cars I've ever owned. And they have a ton of buyer demand, but they, they do have a little bit uh, of a shorter lead time to get to us. These take about a month and a half, two months right now to get to us from Lafayette, Indiana. We're about, I wanna say two and a half hours or so from the US plant. So we get these a lot easier than we do the Forester, but there's still a lot of demand and we sell out of just about every single one that we get. Now, if you are looking for a discount on an Outback, look for the less popular one and that would be one with the turbo engine. I don't sell near as many 
uh, Outbacks with the turbo engine. They come with a 2.5 liter four cylinder naturally aspirated engine, or you can get the 2.4 liter turbo engine. And I don't know if I have any actually on the lot right now. This one is a turbo engine, but it's the Wilderness trim. If you see the Wilderness or Onyx, you're less likely to see a discount on these because these are still very popular. Just the looks alone appeal to a large uh, crowd, but these have additional capabilities like off-road tires, additional ground clearance, and heavier duty roof rails. So if somebody is taking this off-road, they have, or going camping, they have more capabilities than say uh, one of our standard Outbacks. And uh, so if you're looking for a limited XT or a touring XT, those are the turbocharged engines. You might have a better chance of getting a discount on one of those right now. Probably not a huge discount, but uh, you might be lucky enough to pay just a little bit below MSRP on one of those if you're looking for a discount on a new Subaru. And then lastly, we have two other vehicles I want to mention to you guys. Uh, one is hopefully the... Uh, Hopefully the leaf blower is not too loud on the microphone today. Sorry about that. Uh, one is the Subaru Ascent, still a very popular vehicle, but it is our highest price car. So uh, you have less demand for something like this, but you do have the need for, uh, you have people who have the need for a third row SUV. And so if you need a third row SUV, this is uh, our only option. But again, these typically, these don't sell as quickly as the Crosstrex, the Foresters, or the Outbacks. And so therefore you might have a, an opportunity to see a discount on one of these sooner than those other models. And then last but not least, we do have the all electric Subaru Solterra. A few weeks ago, I drove this for about a week and a half just to really test its capabilities. It's fully electric. So I, I just wanted to test out the uh, how long the battery would last. If you want to check out that video, click on the YouTube card to the right. But this is this is also around a, anywhere from forty-six to about fifty-two, fifty-three thousand dollars, depending on the trim level you go with. Had to cut off there a second. The uh, leaf blower was distracting me. But anyways, again, with buyer demand, you don't see as much demand for the fully electric Subaru yet because. Uh, it takes a, a larger commitment. You have to get a, it, well, you don't have to, but it's more feasible if you get an at-home charger so you have additional costs there. It is a, a higher cost vehicle than the gasoline alternative right now. And so something like this, you might see a, a, uh, an opportunity for a discount. Now they don't produce many of these either. Uh, we only have uh, just a few, but uh, uh, each dealer probably gets two to three maybe for the entire year so there, there's not many and so that still props up the price a little bit kind of like the brz's still lack of uh strong demand for these compared to the alternatives but because of lack of supply you still see prices stay pretty pretty strong on these so far we've covered the cross trek the forester the outback the ascent the brz wrx and the solterra but i almost forgot the subaru legacy this is a car, again, they don't produce that many, but there's just, there's not a lot of uh, buyer demand for them. So if you do find one of these that arrives at your local retailer, or you wanna order one, you might have an opportunity to get a discount on one of these as well, just because they're not as popular as the other vehicles that I've mentioned. So overall, to put it simply, if you're looking for a discount on a new car, you have to look at the cars that don't have as much buyer demand and not so much the manufacturer because Subaru as a whole has high uh, demand for the cars right now, but looking at model specific. So even if you are looking at a different manufacturer, do your research, look online, see which ones are selling, which ones are not. Ask your uh, friends and family or, or look on forums. What, what cars do they like the most? The ones that they like the most or you see a lot of demand for, you're going to see prices stay uh, strong. Even in an environment with the higher interest rates, we have still seen a strong buyer demand. Now, ultimately, with the additional increases in interest rates, which we are expected to see at least twice the, through to the end of the year, we're going to see affordability go down just that much further. And even those buyers who have a ton of cash for a down payment or to pay in full, you're going to see some of those buyers completely take themselves out of the market. With student loan uh, interest rates or student loans uh, starting back again in October, that pause is being lifted. That is going to cause affordability for millennials and people with 
college loans uh, to, to drop because now they have this additional obligation that, that they haven't had to pay for the last three years. So I feel your pain on that. Uh, uh, we still have a little bit of, of student loans ourselves, so we're, we're working diligently to try to get that paid off uh, before the, the pause is lifted. But, uh, but that is the reality. We're going to see things cost more money over the next coming months, or the, the interest rates are going to uh, cause things to cost more money. And therefore, I think that's going to put pressure on price, and you will start to see prices come down a little bit more. Hope you guys found this video helpful and found some value in it. If you did and you've made it this far in the video, please be sure to click the like button. If you guys have any questions, leave those down in the comment section below. Be happy to answer those for you. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.